What's up, guys and gals? I'm your host, Mike Pugh of the FTC Virtual Channel, and you're tuning in to my brand new virtual set. If you want to join in and check this out, let's get it. It's going to be fun. I'm using what is known as OBS to actually create this video and special effect in my virtual set. And OBS is the Open Broadcasting Software Studio. It allows you to remove your background from your actual physical location that you're at. You have to use a green screen, you can use a blue screen, as long as it's something that is contrasting color different from the color that you're wearing. And so you can actually change views and perspectives like this, and you really can bling out your virtual set. This virtual set is pretty, pretty unique, as you can see. It allows you to, to play around and come up with differing things to make it look like it's realistic. I use the Adobe Dimension CC. It's a really awesome tool. I use that to create this virtual set. And I'm so happy that I'm able to use these kind of tools to come up with higher level, higher scale quality because that's exactly what I needed for my channel. If y'all folks definitely are looking for that, I'm going to be doing some tutorials on how to create this virtual set using Adobe Dimension. So with no further ado, we're going to move into the tutorial sessions. This is just the teaser just to give y'all folks, you know, the, the view, the full view of what I created so far. I have other renders that I have to create. I'm waiting for a render is baking right now. It's been baking for over 11 hours. Sometimes the renders are going to take a long, long time. The reason why I believe is because I changed the actual pixel resolution. So I changed the size to a larger scale in order to fit this OBS screen. So that way it could actually work with what I'm trying to do on its highest scale render possible. So it might take 24 hours or more for that actual render to go through. I'm not sure, but hey, if you don't have a good computer, your computer is not compatible. Nine times out of 10, the renders that you're gonna have is gonna be much, much slower. Your computer has to have a minimum of an i5 processor, a really, really good NVIDIA card. So you have to have a really good video card. So I have a, a NVIDIA GeForce 970. You wanna have at least 970 or above, and that should give you enough computing power to get your actual virtual sets built or any other 3D graphics, 2D graphics, built into Adobe Dimension and then rendered onto a photorealistic look and finish so other than that I'm out of here I got to go take care of some work I just now got a delivery request I'm working for uber eats right now which is helping me to power my actual virtual anything I'm paying Adobe Creative Cloud in order for me to use this I'm paying around $49.99 a month or something like that like $54 with tax but that's besides the point if y'all folks want to get y'all folks could check the bottom of this video description area so you can try it out as well. Other than that, I'm out of here. Peace, and I'll see you in the next videos in the sessions when I'm showing you folks how to actually create this virtual set or any virtual set in general. And that's all I got. I'm out. Peace. Thanks a lot guys and gals for showing up. I really do appreciate it. If y'all folks want to subscribe to get my latest, you can click on the right of the screen right there. Try that circle. You can also click the bell icon to get my latest. If y'all folks want to get to my most recent tutorial series on this subject, you can click any of those windows that you see there on the left. And I'll see you in the next videos. Peace.